community that we now know as Auburn Lake Trails was once the setting for a small number of ranches and farms. What can we discover by comparing the topographical maps from 1949 to the more recent ones from 2018? The first gate area is today the location of the POA offices, the stables, the barn loft, and the gallery building. But in 1949, this area appears almost empty, except for an orchard in the field next to the offices. As many people know, there was a farmhouse located where the parking lot for the golf course and the pool is now. It was surrounded by orchards. The unpaved road that led to it did not follow the route of American River Trail, but came directly from Highway 193 on a path now followed by Paymaster Trail. Another road from the highway passed through what we would now recognize as the private horse ranch near Second Gate and continued north. Second Gate and the western end of Sweetwater Trail did of course not yet exist. The road that passed through the present day horse ranch continued north to buildings in Browns Bar Canyon which were probably mining claims. This road passed alongside what is now the Otter Trail Loop across Squires Canyon Court and followed the path of Swamp Angel Court. The route of the western end of Sweetwater Trail doesn't appear on the older map. An unpaved road coming from the east terminated near today's Hidden Gold Trail. The rest of Sweetwater Trail's route largely existed as ranch roads in 1949, passing by a number of buildings to join the highway by the third gate area. Another road from the highway passed by the former Stever Ranch, which can be seen as open fields alongside Cascade Trail. This continued up the route matched by Greenhorn Trail and intersected with roads near today's Indian Bow Lake. Some remains of these older structures can be seen along the AOT trail system, but others are located on private lots or on private holdings that are not part of the development. Always respect private property and don't trespass. Historical topographical maps are available from the U.S. Geological Survey free of charge to the general public. Look for links in the video description.